Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Pro Games Player, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be doing the Trailblaze Tactics. That's right, the legendary bike which leaves the trail, dealing damage on anyone who drives behind it. This is a car, the legendary, which I don't see used too often, and I can see why. Yes, it does do damage, but it's ever so slight. And online gameplay, you pretty much don't really use this car because most people will just be able to avoid the trail altogether. But offline bots, yes, they do also tend to get away from the uh, trailblaze, but they can still have some damage dealt to them because they might not move or uh, take into consideration up front that there is a car like the trailblaze in front of them. So yeah, you can actually get a few you know, uses out of this car in offline mode. Not to mention there's that whole mission that this car has where you have to kill 10 cars, destroy 10 cars in a single day using the bl Trailblazes trail. That is one of the hardest missions I've ever had in this game. I don't remember how I completed it. I know I just kept playing offline mode and it was one of the toughest missions I've had you know together with chuck ones but it was a very tough mission and really offline gameplay is the only way you can get it that's really the only way to get that but in terms of tactics this is a very i would say slow paced car it's not the fastest one handling is i would also say somewhat average but because it's like a bike it is really unstable when you're like at hill slopes. When you jump, it's also very unstable. And then there's the fact that because it's slow and it doesn't turn as great, you can do a lot of maneuvers. So what I would like to do with this car, simply just keep driving. Like try and keep up uh, this car at the top speed, not try and slow down because that would obviously be an issue with this car. Now, like I said, you would use it mostly in offline mode. And one of the things that I've noticed is bots will actually tend to drive away when they get behind you. And that can be an advantage because you can actually escape some bots if that happens to you. And you can also escape some players in online mode because while they won't go behind you, they will definitely not chase you from behind. That can give you some breathing room. But this car also has a low amount of health. So keep that in mind. You don't have all the health in the world with this car. But you also don't have a lot of freedom to do uh, any potential <laughs> quick speed maneuvers because, like I said, this car doesn't have all of those things. And you just have to keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it for, you know, the stats of this car. But in terms of actual tactics, I would pretty much suggest some sort of defensive gameplay. This car pretty much leans into that. You can't get anyone chasing you from behind. So I would rather suggest defensive gameplay because like I said, this car doesn't have the best handling, doesn't have the best top speed. And I would pretty much try and stay away from bots and anyone else. Also online players, if you are playing online and I wouldn't really try and you know play aggressive with this car. This is just not the type of car made for offensive gameplay. Just pretty much try and keep your defensive chops up and uh, try and stay away from other people. And you should be fine most most of the time. And that's pretty much it. We're going to spend the rest of this video now simply just uh, seeing what we can do. And as you can see, the moment a bot gets right behind us, they avoid the trailblaze. And we even stop the bot from getting that health because we put a uh, trailblaze right where he was supposed to go. But fortunately, we, we managed to escape that situation. So now we're just going to try and see what else we can do. And yeah, as you can see, the boss will pretty much try and get away from you, uh, get away from the path. But it's not always a guarantee that they will actually stay away. And sometimes you may actually end up taking them out. And that's how you can do that challenge. But there we go. Unfortunately, we got uh, taken out by a forklift, but you pretty much saw this car. Not a lot of uses, but still a car that can have its use. Defensive gameplay most of the time, and you can get some pretty good scores there. And that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to watch my other videos. And I'll see you later. Peace.